think. And it's yours. You must think I was born yesterday. <clears throat> Between us, this map has proven a challenge even for me. So... How about I sell it to you for just five dollars? One half less. Us out. Excellent! I don't think you will regret it. is the only royalty we're likely to meet. Even this Let's hurry up to the part where I win. Good evening, mister. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Are you seem in a good mood? I am. So, I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Will we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crawl. Mr. McGuire is I'll back. keep them girls in line. If I have Let's to whip on my way. Can't you get a bump on the head? 
And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> I'm sure they will. will. <coughs> Uh, Your fellow uh, countryman returns. You, huh? Apparently. Enjoy well, enjoy. I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This is stupid. Oh. Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what that? Oh, let him Listen, have some my fun. <laughs> He's been Do through a lot. You know I thought lady? you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk <laughs> with the rest yeah, of them. That's the one. <laughs> you know this one, don't you? Go join <laughs> in. Finally. Mark well what I do say. And she was Mr. Summertrain. It was diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says yes, my man, run around the floor to take a little, little, little all day. I put my finger on her knee, Mark well what I do say. She says yes, my man, run around the floor to take a little, little all the day. I put my arm around her waist, Mark Well, what I do say? She says you may be great, for the deal is a little all day. I put my hand upon her thigh, Mark Well, what I do say? She says you get pretty high, do I do a little all day? I put my hand upon her ass, Mark Well, what I do say? She says you get pretty high, do I do a little all day? Very nice. But how about something a little more civilized? And it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are. This O'Shea. Dance with me. That's right. And and if you can tell the difference between a Welcome back, Sean. I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. They always are when you ain't buying. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All righty. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Feels like ages since we've done this. Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. Say, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. 
Well, what you think of me? <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, look at mm -hmm. you. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> My dear. Well, thank you, sir. But of course. <laughs> well, thank you again for the dance, Miss Gaskell. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take Mr. that Morgan. as a compliment. Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Suddenly, you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sure, Morgan. That's what you call the ring dang do. She went off to be a whore. So you got your buddy back? Wasn't the same without her. <laughs> nope. Cracking <laughs> ring dang do. That a ring dang do. Now what is that? So All right, well, I should be getting on. Got a hole okay. In the and that's what you call the ring You okay, Jilly? <laughs> yes, just relaxing. So good to have Sean back. Yeah, well, you say that now. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Joy. Let's dance like we're in a Parisian chorus. I'm fine. I'm feeling a little, you know. <laughs> I always wanted 
A boa. <laughs> a fancy boa I could dance with. So I want, if I had a boa, I'd be a happy woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd, I'd finally be a lady. <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a little bit ill. A classic Sean McGuire speech. Yes, he's definitely back. We needed a reason to celebrate. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, then. <laughs> I admit you love me. Admit it, I'm not stop annoying you. I'll admit nothing. You love me. I'd rather love a snake. Hey. Uh, come here. Now <laughs> 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 yeah, she loves me. <laughs> I'm the happiest man alive. of a party for your return, Marston. So let's celebrate now. Ha! Already stealing Sean's moment. Whatever you say. I hate you. This place is it? No. I wonder why they called it Valentine. I'm a perverse. Seems polar opposite or romantic. Well, I don't know. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. Curse? Well, nothing's more romantic than a curse. Exactly. Prince turned into a toad. Lovers into stone. Entire country turned into morons. Curse. It's always a show. That it is. That it is. Well, I didn't quite understand what the woman was saying. Kind of her being a bit of an idiot. Some about a massacre. Last surviving Indian. Person the town. Mr. Moore. 
Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Make a big pot. I'm starving. Ugh, my head is pounding. Plenty to do if you're at a loose end, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. Dutch, I need you to do me a favor. Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. <sighs> okay. Hello. You all right there, Reverend? Yes. Yes. Happy to have young Sean back. Yep. Hey, Arthur. Mr. What you want? Well, oh, man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Yeah. Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> yeah. We did good with Sean. We wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> I know. Hey, I'm guessing I had some fun last night. Hey, Tilly. Hey. You recover from Sean's party? Yeah. Don't know if he has. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Mary Beth? Hey, Arthur. How's it riding? Not very good. I hear the most wonderful words in my head, and then I write absolute poppycock. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too. My journal. I was reading some the other day. <laughs> I write like a fool. <laughs> <sighs> One day I'd love a beautiful fountain pen and a great desk in a quiet room and... 
to write the most beautiful stories. Well, I can't do much about the stories or the quiet room, but maybe I'll find you a pen. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure. Hey, Arthur. Hey. All good out here? Well, I think so, but... Well, I don't know. I, I thought I heard something. Uh, that's probably nothing. Okay. Well, stay alert. Any sign of trouble, you shoot first. <laughs> of course. that I am just some tired old Yankee dreamer in a world I no longer understand. Not again, Abigail. Not ever. Just leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Don't be. It'll be fine. One of us now. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yes, finally about done cleaning up after that party. Sean does not do things by halves. All right. Huh. What are you up to? Thinking of heading out in a bit. Okay, we'll catch up with you later then. Whatever. Uncle Arthur. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Ham Morgan! Ham Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? I know your ears are working, Arthur. Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. It goes without saying. Oh, what am I gonna do? 
You're gonna suffer. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Hi there. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. Keep it going, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, hey there, partner. Come take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Aye. Just time. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. Uh, no have money, but but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. What you got behind there? So, uh, przepraszam, nie, nie rozumiem. Move aside. You must have come here with something. Rusakom nie można ufać. Amerykańcy też. What do we have here? Moja obrączka, nie! Just keep quiet. The longer I look, the madder I get. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. Don't even speak English. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things. To zabrałeś już prymitywie, idź precz. Jestem zrujnowany, zrujnowany.
ain't got problems with your appetite. Are you okay, Reverend? What's in this? Hello, John. Big swell. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend? I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Ah, well. Tilly? Hey. Hello, Charles. There you are, Dutch. Miss O'Shea.
Arthur, you know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money, and before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that? I ain't losing to these... these fools. Arthur, you know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh, I ain't wavering, son. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Behind the he was? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Miss Grimshaw. All right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you got balls, anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> like that'd be enough. Is to make a better world. Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with. Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there.
Good luck with it. I can't leave you. Let's go, boy. Okay, boy.
Easy boy. Gotta be done. Sir, I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. <laughs> Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
up, you get the hell away from here and stay there. Just get out of here, damn it. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. travel this far alone, you know. Lord! I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. And now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. Yep. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Just a little further. You this bored you want to make an enemy? We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. <laughs> Mister? You might give me an earful about spending more time with the children. Hey, could you give me some room? Uh, 
Howdy. Welcome. Sure, I'm buying. Hello? Is that your head out there hunting again? Hey! This? It ain't worth much. Just a break, pal. Don't get funny. Pleasure doing business with you. Much appreciated. Lightens my load. I don't sell them myself, but you can get calls to help you lure game in. Bit of bait goes a long way, too. Good hunter uses all the tools he can. You know what goes on in this hotel behind me? On a quiet day, you can hear the roar of trade. I know that newsboy kid's got to make some coin, but if he don't shut the hell up, then one day, I swear to God, gee. Okay, boy. Let's go.
shall find peace. Help a blind man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keep moving, sir. Yep. Keep moving. But don't move too fast. Yeah. Take your word for it. James? Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Hi. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. 
course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Hey, Mark could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. God! story with that emerald ranch you find out anything else a little owner's a nasty type by all accounts Seamus is sure scared of him that's not saying much something strange about the place used to be a saloon there general store now it's all closed up but they seem to have money sounds worth a look around for sure Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times Oh, we used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Look where you're going. Hopefully not too much. place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> oh, 
Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh... Junior, what's your name, sir? Robert Crawford III, sir. The... Oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name... My name is... Now, don't... Tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved! I have been found! Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? You think I'm a nut, Paul Crawford the third? I interested in only this song. I thought a religious man respects them as has it, but I got something better, way better than church. Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit better. Uh, uh. This session has been free, the reps, I might call again. 
How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, sir. They ain't made of money, Mr. Myricks. A reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next. Aye. Get open. Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Yep. Slow it down a bit. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Take it easy, Arthur. Looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Thank you. 
for. Hello, Arthur. Javier. since you killed anyone with your cooking. <laughs> What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
Yeah. Hi there. Uh, you know it's rude to stare at folks, don't you? At home. Got to. Not a 
again. Never comes with a knee. It's my life. It's my life. <laughs> a drink. <laughs> a shit. Yeah. Oh, hey there. Why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. <sighs> Here. Hmm. hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. Your, your place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. Slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh -uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a y young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. I might rest the old eyes a minute. Feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. Thank you. 